To my left, Jake Ottinger, Nick Paley. Uh, Tristan Hazlitt's unavailable. He had a medical issue with the knee, so. I tell you what, it is, uh, it's such a joy coaching kids and bringing them to this point and you know, for Lakeville North right now, every step we take forward is, is a first. So, um, you know, I know you go to funerals and you hear everybody's a great guy and they're not all, but uh, it, you know, it takes a special group of kids to kind of forge a new path and these kids are doing it. So, um, to say it's exciting is a mild understatement. Hey, just take us to the last hole. We're just trying to get the puck on the net and aiming. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to get the puck on net and over time all you're trying to do is get the puck on net and any shot go in and that one went in. What was the mindset of the team that you guys went down for too? Uh, we just said keep plugging along. Um, we knew we had it in us to come back and that's what happened. And we just came out after the first period and just tried to play our hockey and that's what we did. This week guys talked about the chemistry and everything. Oh yeah, everything's possible, but I mean, with this group of guys, it's, it's totally different. We, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a lot better. You can say no. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't know, my first goal too was kind of like that. It was the puck was wobbling, so I was like, "Am I gonna get this on net?" And both of them I got on net. So. Uh, I mean, I just tried to regroup uh, in the locker room, and all the guys were supportive. It's not like they were like saying, you know, like, come on, like you're going to ruin the game or anything. They're all supportive, picking me up, and uh, made the big save when it needed to be made, and um, feels good to help the team, so couldn't have done it without them. Uh, mainly just like functional stuff, like get on top of the crease. I mean, I wasn't too worried about. We have um, the best defenseman in the state, so I mean, it's. I had confidence in them, and I had confidence in our forwards. And we went on the power play, and I, I mean, I knew one of the three would uh, finish it for us. So it feels great. Chris, you talked about your mindset. <laughs> Well, I mean, you guys watch it kind of, for both sides, kind of turned into a mash unit late. I mean, you know, guys are just going as hard as they can and just running out of gas and, and you know, pushing and pushing and pushing. So, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I've been confident all year rolling three lines. And to be honest with you, we've always played ten forwards. We've had two guys that are interchangeable and have played. Um, and, and so... You know, we were just going to continue to grab from what we had and use them um, because, I, you know, like I said, I was confident in the group. Um, but, you know, depth is nice and, and uh, you know, we'll go pump these kids full of fluids and, and, and get them ready to go for tomorrow. How's Tristan doing? Uh, he's nicked up. I think something with, the, something with the, the knee, you know, whether it's a bruise or not. I mean, I hate to see a senior if he, if he can't go tomorrow. Um, but it was a, you know, it's just a neat group of kids. I mean, he came in the locker room, and the guys knew just how sour he was not going back out there. But I heard three, four guys say, Tritty, we'll pick you up, man. We'll pick you up. Um, you know, so we'll see what they can do. I don't know. I don't know yet, uh, diagnosis-wise, if he's available for tomorrow or not. I'm sure we'll find out later this evening or in the morning. I'm guessing both teams are, are saying what's going on, but uh, you know, it it 
It was for both teams. I mean, we we got out of the first period with two goals on four shots, I believe, or whatever it was. So, um, you know, for us, a team that's, you know, kind of a 1.5 goals against type of team, um, it wasn't exactly a period that we were too thrilled about. Um, more more importantly than the, the score at the end of the first, and I told our guys I just wasn't real happy with, with the start to the game. Um, I mean, it's a group of kids that kind of hang their hats on work ethic and discipline, and um, I just thought we were getting beat up physically in the first period. Um, we were getting, we were losing races to pucks, and stick battles were all going the other way. Um, you know, but like I said, it's a mature group of kids, and I was honest with them. I told them we weren't very good. If we continue that way, we'll be done. So, you know, they responded very well in the second. Um, you know, it's always nice to see kids work actually pay off because I thought we played a really good period in the second period. Um, it took, what, 15 minutes for us to, to get a goal on the board. So they were pretty persistent. It was it was nice to get that late one from Nick to go in tied. I think it gave us a, a great boost. Um, and, and obviously when you get in the situation in overtime like that, you're just, you're just trying to battle and make smart plays and whip pucks at the net. There's, no genius on either side going on. I mean, kids are selling out on both sides, so it's it's fun to watch. You hate to see somebody lose that game. Well, after the first, I reminded him that Spinner was number 25. I think <laughs> we forgot somehow. Um, yeah, they're they're great hockey players, great high school hockey players, and you know, I mean, he saw Snuggy at the end of the game. I mean, most people know he was nicked up. He didn't go into that game healthy, and he played a lot of minutes, and he he battled hard. Um, you know, I mean, that's just that's a great performance from a kid who's not 100%. Um, yeah, we tried to. I mean, like most coaches would. I mean, it wouldn't take a genius to pick up the stat sheet and look at it and say we better pay attention to these guys. So, we had played them earlier in the season. We knew. Um, but again, good hockey players find ways to get chances, and obviously, I think Spinner was two for two on his first two shots, and they're both basically bar down. So, good hockey players. We just did the best we could to make adjustments going into the second, get our energy level up, and be a little more physical. Did you notice when at times they were out again for whatever reasons? Yeah, I didn't miss them, but I did notice they were gone. Um, you know, I mean, it's just. Uh, they're a different team without those two, put it that way. Um, a much easier team to defend, put it, um, you know, in terms of explosiveness. When those guys are there, they can create, and the Snuggy creates from the point, and Spinner's just a bull. Um, you know, you can have a couple guys on him, he's going to work for his shots and work for his chances. Uh, you know, and maybe it was a good eye opener for our guys, because that's generally, I think if you ask most people, that's how we play. We're pretty physical and, and pretty blue collar, and we weren't in the first. Um, and, you know, we kind of got our ears pinned back a little bit. Coach, you step you guys take us to the step of the section goal. Is that, I guess, had any extra meaning to it? Um, I, I, I mean, in a sense, I guess. I mean, I grew up in Rosemount playing in the – you know, late 80s and Section 1 was Burnsville and the Rochesters were really good hockey going on. So, I mean, it evolves, it changes. Um, I don't take any, you know, it doesn't bother me a bit when people say it's a weak section because, let's be honest, it has been a weak section for the better part of five, six years. So, it is what it is. I mean, I don't make the sections. We just worry about our program and, um, you know, we're fortunate enough to have, you know, a lot of athletes and, and uh, you know, I think as a staff, we're trying to do the right things and get really involved with the, the young kids. And now we've got a group of kids pushing through here that, that I mean, uh, I told guys last night, if, if, if people could watch these kids practice, you know, we wouldn't have been outside the top 20 in the preseason. But the fact of the matter is we were. Um, these kids, to, it's a credit to them. Never bothered them a bit. They went to work. You know, I don't know if they were ranked number one for maybe six or eight weeks or whatever it was, but you know, they're they're just like I said. I mean, everything they do is is new, um, but the blueprint is out there. I love Mike Randolph's program. I love Kurt Giles' program. Um, there's a lot of guys that have been doing the right things for a long time, and you know, for me. I, I was fortunate enough 
as a decent hockey player to play college hockey for really good coaches in Bob Motzko and George Gwazdecki and um, you know I always tell Motzi his blueprints are all over our game plan because we just like to play hard. A lot has been made of uh, this program wanting to be at the point now where it's uh, competing against the best teams in the state and competing for state championships. Uh, was it hard to kind of to kind of change attitudes in the program? I mean, going through so many years in the program, and gone through so many years of getting to the state tournament struggle. Oh uh, yeah, I think uh, I don't know when. Teams used to make it to the state tournament. I think they just expected to just make it and just have a blast and not worry about the hockey really. And now our main focus is winning the hockey games. And I think it's it's been clear to all and it's been fun, a lot more fun. That's for sure. Nick, this was like a tale of two games. Eight goals in the first three, four minutes and one of them, one of the next three, four. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, which half would you like best? Uh, second half. Uh, can I tell him what you said to me after the first period? I don't know. <laughs> second half. We'll just say that. I like the second half. <laughs> a lot better. How do you describe some of the saves you both have made behind you? Uh, they're unbelievable. We know the kids can do that, and we trust them as much as we can. And um, I don't know. I just you, we expect him to make those because we know he can. So. We all really appreciate it. Yes, thank you.